Good morning, everyone. So I thought I'd pop on, first of all, just to show you how bad my face is. Now, you know, I don't suffer with spots. I never, ever have, even as a teenager. Time in the month, I just get one or two in the same place on the chin. That would be it. But I have come out in, well, they're lumps. They're not even spots. So I've got a lump there, um, here, here, that one I've like been picking it a bit, like pulling it around. I had one under there, here, here, here. But look at this one here. So it's like, it's come up like, um, you know, like a hive, that sort of thing, like an actual, like an allergic type of a lump there. Um, and I don't ever, kind of suffer with them. So right now I'm just doing cleansing and putting on a very, very mild moisturiser because I just don't want anything to sort of, you know, affect it or make it get worse. Look at her up there. Um, yeah, but I don't know why. I don't know whether, because obviously I've, um, I'm now clear from COVID, yay, thank goodness. But I still have like cold symptoms and stuff like that, but I don't have it, but I have a lot of the symptoms. I don't know if this is part of like a COVID thing, if it comes out in, I know it can come out in a rash, but I don't know if it comes out in like lumps, like it's just the toxins coming out your skin. Because I'm very much like that, because many years ago, oh crikey, what, how many years ago did I have chemotherapy? 12 now? Oh my God. 11, 12? Yeah. 7, 8, 11, 12 years ago, yeah. Yeah, maybe 11 to 12 years ago I had chemotherapy. Yeah. And after the chemotherapy, yeah. I came out in these great big lumps yet again, but they weren't on my face, they were just on my body. And I actually have some on my body again. I do have some on my body but not like i did like when i had the oh, it's, it's telling teddy off it's all right it's, it's telling teddy off and it aren't you ted because he had a he had a bit of a snap at his dad he wanted to be picked up so chris picked him up and he was like Mwah. am i talking about you yeah teddy do you feel ashamed not you elsie you good girl. Teddy, do you feel ashamed, baby boy? It's okay now. It's okay. Little buggers, aren't they? Um, anyway, I'll show you something else that I did yesterday. But if you've got any idea, this one here is just like, oh, it looks awful as if I had a punch in the face. You didn't, you didn't punch me when I was asleep, did you? Well, possibly. <laughs> but, if I snored, I think he might have was going to say something else, like blew off. I don't do that ever. Right. Anyway, let me turn the camera around and show you. So, a long while ago, these came from one of the old chandeliers, didn't they, Chris? Yeah. Yeah, it was an old chandelier. And you know, look, you know, if you're a crafter, you'll get, you'll get this. Um, so, it was from an old chandelier, it, it had completely broken. Chris said, shall I strip the, um, like the crystals off and keep them and then you can use them in a crafting project? So, I am doing that. So, these are going to be hung on a tree in the garden that it was a pre-light-up Christmas tree that you had indoors, just like the branches, not the one that you saw at Christmas 2021 or 2020, because that was a new one then, uh, but it was the previous one to that. That had um, completely broken, the wires had gone and everything, um, so it didn't light up anymore, but, you know, typical when you want to hang on to things as a just in case we did that just in case well chris put it in the garden it looks really pretty when the sun shines on it because it's all got um like glittery bits on it even though it doesn't light up so chris said yesterday why don't you hang some of these on the branches so i'm going to do that uh, but what i did yesterday i'll show you say hi hi, hi. Woof, woof. Say hi. Elsie, be 
nice. Are you a beautiful girl? Look then. <laughs> right. I'll show you here. I'm gonna do corn on the cob in the instant pot for lunch. Apparently it's about three minutes. Yay. Tonight I am going to be doing a fish pie with mashed potato, carrots and cabbage. Fish is still in the freezer, that's fine. Um, so this is what I did yesterday. So I kind of made a crystal to hang from the window. And uh, when the sun was shining yesterday, it was so pretty. You could see all the little facets. And then, so then I did another one. There, so you stay at the window. It's actually, the window's really dirty, but it's not inside, it's outside. Um, there we go, you can see a bit better there. Yeah, so I hung one from there because the sun does come through there and it will like really show the little facets. Then I'll show you the tree. I oh, don't slip out here where it's so wet on the decking. Mind you, Chris did come out and jet wash it the other day and he's got to put some um, wet and forget stuff down so it takes any algae away. But this is a tree. Can't wait for the better weather to come when it's not raining because it's not cold. But when it's not raining to go and do some flipping gardening. Um, so this is the tree, as I say. And um, I have, as you can see, I just hung a couple up to see what it would look like. And you can see it's all glittery. And when the sun shines, it's so pretty. So I will play about with the branches and open them out a little bit more. And uh, there's another one there. So that is something I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing. Yeah. But I can't wait to get out here and some things are starting to like not come back to life yet but you can see they're on the verge of life <laughs> my carla lily over there that's gonna bloom soon the trees are bare um absolutely bare the bird's nest is still there in the tree i'm not going to touch it. it does look like it's falling apart to be fair but i don't know a little bird might come along and repair that so i'm leaving it um, but we need to come out and prune this now. So, this hasn't done anything. It's a cherry tree, it hasn't done a thing yet. Fingers crossed, eh? Fingers crossed. So, right, let's go in and I'm gonna have my coffee. Yeah, so this is my face in daylight. But look, can you see that? It's horrible, isn't it? So I'm not going to be putting on any makeup or any harsh skincare. Literally just cleanse um, with like, I've got a, len uh, uh, a Lizelle that I'm using at the moment. Um, a cleanse and polish, I'm using that. I'm just a very mild cleanser, nothing else because I don't want to interfere with it or make it worse. So I'm just going to keep an eye on it and yeah, see what it, see what happens. Flipping heck, things are sent to try us. Thought I'd just share dinner tonight. So I'm making a fish pie. So in here I've got some cod at the bottom and some prawns. And there's a little bit of liquid because I've had it in here defrosting. So I'm going to tip that away um, and then I'm just going to season it and put some mixed veg in and then pop that into the oven for a little while um, just to sort of cook it. It won't take long at all. Then I'm going to cook my potatoes. In here I've got cabbage and carrots. So once I've put the actual pie together... I will pop the veg on. So I'll show you how how I make my fish pie. This is a really easy cheats one as well. well I'm gonna pop my uh, potatoes on. Right, 
Right, so I'm just going to start to bring those up to the boil. So in here, as I say, I've got the fish, some white fish, and um, I'm just going to sort of open it up a bit, mix it with the prawns a bit. Just making sure there isn't any skin there. So this is just, I don't even know if it's, I think it's cod, I can't remember to be honest with you, but any white fish will be absolutely fine. of um, mixed veg here. You can skip this part if you don't want to add this. Gosh, it's well frozen. But for this, I like to just add small veg, you know, like the smaller ones. Put that back in, put that in the freezer. So I'm going to pop this into the oven um, just to let this cook whilst the potatoes are cooking. Oh, so I'm going to make a cup of tea now with something I haven't tried before. Um, I'm intrigued. I don't know if anyone else, if any of you have actually tried this tea, but I'll show it to you. Right, okay, so this is Yorkshire tea and it's toast and jam breakfast tea. New to me, have never seen it, haven't seen it advertised anywhere or anyone else say that they've tried it. So I thought I'd give it a go. So breakfast tea, it's called breakfast tea, toast and jam Tastes like jam on toast, Yorkshire tea bags. So let's get making it, shall we? Let me get some water into my kettle.
Well, it looks like a normal cup of tea. So I'm just gonna take this in to Chris, I'll come back. Might be a little bit too hot now for me to taste, but let's give it a go. It does taste, it smells like um, strawberry jam on toast. <laughs> I like it. So I'm trying to work it out. First of all, I thought it smelt more like jam on toast than taste it, but it does. It's like it definitely does have the flavour. I honestly have to say it does. It's not like you don't get the sweetness of like jam on toast it isn't that but it's very much like um you know when you finished your jam on toast it's a little bit like that the taste you get in your mouth have you had any yet i like it chris mm. actually it's actually quite delicious I'm very glad I tried it. Very glad. If you like a cup of tea, try it. I think you may be impressed. Yeah, that's very nice. Anyway, I've got my potatoes on boiling over there. Let me lower you down again. Right, so what I'm gonna do to make this a really easy cheat fish pie so you could do your own white sauce you could do a parsley sauce I would normally make a parsley sauce to do a fish pie with um, but I saw this in the supermarket ages ago I've had it in the cupboard for a while now and it's the Bisto um, parsley sauce mix so I thought just for quickness let's give this a go and see if it's see what it's like you know see if it's as good as um, like a homemade sauce would be now i've used the cheese sauce in this range and it was brilliant i used the cheese sauce for um to do a a cauliflower cheese so i thought wow i hate this kettle so much so when I saw this, I thought, let's give it a go. Now I want it to be quite thick, because if I was making my own, I'd have it quite thick, because this is going to be poured in on top of the fish. And the reason I want it to be thick is because I'm gonna be sitting the mashed potato on the top. And this was like, a pound or something and I thought by the time you've made your white sauce you know and the, the effort you put into it I mean I don't think you can beat it to be perfectly honest but you know if it's just like one of you and you just want to make it like a small uh, fish pie for yourself and that you could just literally get one of these and use some of this so this is thickening up beautifully I want it thicker though I need it thicker <laughs> Yeah, because I want it to go on top of the fish and the prawns and then for the potato to sit on top. You know, I don't really want it to, the potato to be going, sort of falling right through. You know, for a pound or 99p or whatever it was, I think that's absolutely fine. And it takes so much effort out of it. Right, so I'm going to just leave that to cool a little bit. There we are, perfect consistency. I'm gonna give it a little taste. Mmm, that is delicious. 
that is absolutely lovely I'll check on my fish and then when I come to put it all together I I'll come back and show you right so I'm just checking the fish and that is actually cooked so just make sure that's all pretty equal pouring the sauce over the top of the fish it certainly is just that little bit easier and that little bit quicker than if you're making your own your own white sauce you know pasty sauce whatever sauce you're making and it tastes good I mean when you're making your own obviously you can gauge how much uh, parsley you want to put in or any other herbs in there but actually this is really good especially for the price So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this out of the oven for a while. Once the potatoes are done, I'm going to mash the potatoes and grate some cheese and the cheese is going to go on the top and it's going to be yummy, scrummy, absolutely beautiful. And then when this goes in the oven, just basically brown and everything, I'm going to put on my cabbage and my carrots. Right. So with the, just the back of a spoon, I'm just going to sort of spread it around, sort of flatten it out. It actually looks really rustic if you just leave it like this, but um, I'm wanting to pop some more on that bit there because it's going to leak, seep through. With what's left over, I just put into like a, a plastic sort of Tupperware dish actually container, and then once this has gone cold, this will go into the freezer. And then I can just pull it out when I want to. Um, and if I want to just I don't know if I wanted to make some fish cakes, I could, if I wanted to just uh, make a bubble and squeak with some other vegetables, I could, or just to top, you know, a little, a smaller pie, then it's all there and ready. So I'll leave that to cool down. And that will have the lid on and go into the freezer. The carrots and the cabbage in the steamer. So, okay, it's in the steamer, look. And then I'm just gonna grate some cheese.
Right, there we are. So I'm now gonna pop this into the oven until it's hot, hot all the way through and the cheese has gone beautifully crisp and golden. So I will come back, oh, all red now. I'll come back when it's cooked. I take it out of the oven so that you can see what it looks like and then what it looks like when it's dished up on the plate. Right, so this is the pie just out of the oven. So you can see down here the fish and the parsley sauce and the carrots, the veg, and then all this lovely cheese melted on the top. So I'll show you once I've dished it up. So this is what it looks like on the plate. There we go, this is what it looks like. So we've got the fish pie, the carrots and the white cabbage. Yum. Right, so I'm off to enjoy my dinner and I'm going to end this video here. I'll see you in the next one. Take care everyone. Thank you for watching. Bye.